Hey, good evening. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com on Wednesday, um, April 23rd, or I guess you could say Apple 23rd. Um, look, a company announced earnings, and you know, finally they kind of did something that got buyers interested. Um, stock buyback, like I don't know, 90 bazillion more shares or dollars, or I think it's like 300 billion, something like that. They're going to do a seven for one stock split. Um, they don't have any new products, um, but apparently that's coming. You know, who knows what it is, but it's going to be an I something or other. Um, but, you know, great quarter. Um, everybody liked it, right? So where's the stock? The stock right now is trading at 565. Okay, where has the recent high been? Let's look at it. You can say, oh, yeah, but Dan, finally, after I told you the stock's going to go back to 700. Okay, well, good luck with that, Sherlock. Sure, ultimately it might, but it ain't going to be tomorrow. Okay, it's not going to be next week. It's not going to be six months from now. Guarantee you. It's not going to be six years from now. I guarantee you. Do you know why I can guarantee you that? Because they're splitting seven for one. It's not going to be up at 700 for quite a while. What I'm care, what I care more about is like what's happening tomorrow, what's happening on Thursday morning. Now, my first, you know, because I, I have instincts too, I have normal reactions. My first thought was, wow, you know, we've been waiting for Apple to do something good for so long. This thing is gapped up. I'll, I'll bet that thing will gap up and even run higher tomorrow. I'll, you know what? I'll bet I'll bet it's a good thing to buy at the open. That could be it. In the past, like other things, um, you kind of sell them at the open when they gap up this much. But Apple could be different. Okay, whenever I find myself thinking that way, I got to stop and check and say, wait a minute, Dan, are you kind of falling prey to the normal human instincts that actually kill us every time because the market's rigged to take all our money? Um, a lot of times the answer is yes. I will tell you this. If I had to choose, and I don't, because I get to choose tomorrow morning. But if I had to choose between buying and selling at the open, if I had to choose, had to, gun to head, buy or sell, I would sell. Why? Well, because the stock's up a lot. Folks that bought before earnings, the only reason they bought before earnings is because they think the stock's going to pop. Okay? The stock popped. Hence, sell. After earnings pop, that's the way it goes. Also, this stock's up close to resistance here. That's another reason to sell. So first thing in the morning, what I'm going to be, I'm going to be looking to sell. I'm not going to sell. I'm going to be looking for evidence that truly sellers are overwhelming buyers. That there's certainly there's, if there's not aggressive demand for the stock in the morning, then it's not going to open up here. That's just the way it goes because a bid has to be met with an offer. So there's going to be aggressive buying in the morning. I care more about where the stock is trading at 9.33 or 9.35 than I do where the stock is trading at 9.30. At 9.30, I know the stock is going to be trading somewhere up here. But at 9.33, I know this. The stock is not going to be trading at that same level. Might be above, might be below. Ultimately, the bulls and the bear are the arbiters of where the stock is going to go. So I think you got to be nimble tomorrow morning. I would not be buying this right at the open. If you just get the can't help it, then just buy a little bit. If you're long the stock and you were waiting for this, sell half at the open. If You might want to sell it all. But sell half at the open, and then if the stock does run, you know you're happy you didn't sell at all. But ultimately, and I've mentioned this before recently in, uh, I think it, it was in um, the strategy sessions, the fact that this stock was trading above the 200-day moving average, you know, it had been trickling lower here, 50-day moving average, trending down. The fact that it was trading above this 200-day moving average, and I actually have a, an article coming out on this um, in uh, on Real Money. I think they published my stuff on Real Money Pro. I'm not sure. Um, but this symmetrical triangle above the 200-day moving average, prior trend was higher. 
this gives you a really strong bias for an upside move. You know, I mentioned that recently. I wasn't pounding the table about it to where you got to buy this before earnings. But what I was saying was um, the stock, you kind of have to have an upside bias on the stock. So that's happening. Now you got to look at this level and just know this. If the stock does push through this level, that's going to have been a heck of a run in a day or two. And that is going to beg for profit taking. So I think there's pretty strong resistance here. Here's my take on the stock <coughs> for the next couple months or whatever. I think you definitely want to be buying this stock on any kind of dip. I don't think it's coming back down here. They had a great quarter. They got some good things coming. But I want you to be careful when the company splits its stock. Look at what happened with MasterCard. Okay, 10 for 1. This has been an unmitigated disaster. I mean, if this thing keeps going any lower, they'd have been better off splitting their stock 2 for 1. Because effectively, the price is going to be that. I mean, this has been horrible. Same thing with Google or GOOGL for those of you who really care. I personally don't because I don't vote at shareholder meetings and they trade the same. Equal volume, 2.0 million, that would be 2 million. 2 million. Okay, so what's the difference? Look what happened when they split two for one. They haven't even come close. Well, I guess they came close, but they're well below this. So I want you to be careful about Apple. Everybody gets all lathered up. Oh, seven for one split. My bet is those of you that are all excited have been trading for at least 14 years because you remember what it was like in the 90s when a company split its stock. Remember JDSU? Just don't sell us. I had a different one. Just do split us. I mean, that company split more times than I've ever seen another stock split. Uh, and then, of course, they did a massive reverse split because they got down near zero. Bottom line is Apple is going to be trading on a much more liquid, as, as if it's not liquid now, almost 14 million shares. Shares are going to be easier to buy. And they're saying, well, you know, we want to make them... Um, better for we want to make it more affordable for the retail investor to buy no they want to get in the Dow 30 that's why they want to do it all this bull whatever about well we just want to be more we want to make it more affordable for the individual investor that's nice for you to say but it really doesn't mean anything because that's not why a company splits its stock they have other reasons for doing it, and I think those are fine reasons. Good for you. Why don't, why don't you just say, we're splitting our stock because we're kind of hoping that we can get in the Dow 30, and then we can travel along with the rest of the market instead of being mired in all this muck um, for so long. So that's why we're doing it. Because after all, Microsoft's in there, and they really stink up the joint. Have you seen Windows 8? Why can't I get back to Windows 7? And why can't I say, why can't I see a, when it says, oh, we have a new version of Windows 8, and then there's two boxes, go to the store or remind me later. Why can't I have a third box that says, don't ever ask me again? Okay, that's Microsoft in the Dow. I would love to have Apple get in there instead. Sadly... They'll probably be in there alongside of them, at which time I would absolutely buy Apple and I would I would buy Apple in Microsoft terms. In other words, short Microsoft and buy Apple. There's a trade for you. OK, uh, members over to the strategy session, listen to it all the way through. I'm saying a lot of stuff and I'm also telling you about our um, stock, our summer stock series. I want you guys to pay attention to that. It's at the end of the video. It's a long video, as you can see. I'm kind of windy today. I've had a couple cups of coffee in the afternoon. It's the way I am. But think about this, and all you folks in the chart of the day that aren't uh, subscribers, fine. Check out our 59-minute trader product. I'm going to be teaching a workshop in the fall. And during the summer, uh, I'm going to be we're going to be doing basically some day trading. Every couple weeks, I'm going to have an open webinar for members at the open. We're going to be trading these puppies uh, for about an hour or so. And my bet is, we're, if I didn't think we were going to make a lot of money, I wouldn't be doing this. I would out, be out by the pool getting a suntan, trying not to get skin cancer. But instead, I'm going to be in here trying to make some money. So check that out. If you're not a member yet, seriously, once you go do that, okay, do it now. 
promise you it's a low risk trade.